Welcome back, Danger Cats. In a recent post, we asked you, what is the dumbest thing the new guy on site has said to you? Before we begin, we all recall the time when you were the new guy on site. I'm gonna start with a little tale of my past in the blue collar industry, looking like a goddamn idiot. But first, be sure to check out DangerCatsShop.com and you can pick up some merch exactly like this old fine tea. Ride the liquor, cause as we know, the best thinking is when you're drinking. It was a bright sunny day and I was watching the older gentleman on site pull line locating nails out of the ground, to which I did not know what those were, and I asked him, what do you got in your hand there? He replied to me, oh, this is a fungus that helps my spruce trees grow. And being the young, naive gentleman that I was at the time, I just agreed to what he was saying. Then I spent three weeks trying to research what kind of fungus helps spruce trees grow. To where I came to a dead end and I was left with no other choice but to ask him, what the hell was that fungus that you used to help grow your spruce trees? I want to tell my grandpa about it. Is when he looked at me and said, what the hell are you talking about? And he shook his head, looked me square in the eyes and he goes, good thing you have a strong back, young man. And that's the moment I realized that I was a goddamn moron. Like I I said earlier in the video I went through the posts and found some of my favorite comments that I'm going to read to you today. First being from Frank underscore Danner 2 in quotations. I put the concrete mixer full of freshly mixed concrete in the shade so it should stay wet while I went to lunch. I can't even say much about that because I thought that line locating nails were a fungus so. Kyle Lemke tells us a little <laughs> tale. Buddy of mine told me a story back in the day when they used wood ladders that they had two levels to climb up and one ladder so told and one ladder so told summer student to cut the big ladder and to climb up and one ladder so told uh, and one ladder so Jesus Christ <laughs> I'm having an aneurysm trying to fucking read this right now and one ladder so told ah uh, there's just not punctuation in this. That's why it's fucking me up. <laughs> Buddy of mine told me a story back in the day when they used wood ladders that they had two levels to climb up and one ladder. So told the summer student to cut the big ladder in half and he cut it down the fucking middle of the rings. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, like, technically he did cut it in half, right? So you can't even <laughs> be that mad at him. I mean, maybe that that's a little bit of fault for putting too much trust in the young man that you have at your side by not explaining things to the perfect degree. I'm not saying, you know, maybe we're dealing with two morons here. <laughs> Dom Selleck. Me and a summer kid put up a half mile of fence one time. It was hot. Long days, but not all bad. The kid turns to me when we're stapling the wire up and says, <laughs> they ought to hire guys to do stuff like build fences. <laughs> I told them that they did. It was us. <laughs> you know, that right there is a young entrepreneurial mind right there. He's trying to think of how to get out of the work. You know, sometimes the laziness of these young men and women can work out in your favor and be like, maybe we could subcontract this out and we take the money and we pay somebody less but not make as much. But then, you know, this whole time, we're not sitting in the hot sun. We're instead watching people work. That's how McDonald's got to where it's at. I'm pretty sure. You, I mean, Wikipedia. Ducky Smalls says, I can smell the difference of paint colors. <laughs> Could you imagine you pull up on site and there's a blind man there and you say to your fellow and be like, hey, what's that? What's that guy do? Oh, well, he, he goes and grabs the color that we need. And you're like, well, how the hell does he know what colors are in the first place? And you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. You know how when you lose one sense, you, the other kind of heightens? Well, this guy's sniffer is so goddamn good. He takes a whiff of that paint and he'll tell you exactly what color it is. Kevin Richard. Working rigs. Lease hand power washed a breaker box and said, I thought it was okay because it rains out. I said, it doesn't rain at 1500 PSI. <laughs> Again, you know, sometimes a weak mind and a strong back should never have anything that plugs into a power outlet at all. Justin LaRoche. Not me, but had a driller who sent a green roughneck to get him a bucket of steam. Guy goes over to the steam one, it, yes, it's real and necessary when it's minus 40. Sprays it in a bucket, puts a lid on it, and brings it to the driller. Opens up the lid for him, 
and it was all steaming. Driller didn't know whether to laugh or be impressed. I mean, ask and you shall receive, I believe is the old saying, if I'm correct, and you received the bucket of steam you asked for, this guy, you know, I mean, well, as you know, a very eager mind and the willingness to impress your older peers on site sometimes will pull a rabbit out of his ass and come back with a bucket full of steam that you desire at that very moment. <laughs> I'm actually impressed that he got the steam in a bucket. That's uh, <laughs> good on him. You know what? Good on him. Lyle X, how long do you have to work on the job before you can collect workers' compensation? <laughs> I mean, uh, what do you say to that? <laughs> I don't know what you say to that. Scott Dragon, if we have to wear fall protection when over six feet, well, I'm 6'3", do I have to wear a harness all the time? <laughs> you know what? Honest question. He's thinking for safety reasons. It's in his head. He's like, holy shit. Well, I'm above like the point where if I go down, am I going to really cause some damage on this goddamn construction site? Do I have to have the harness on at all times? I'm above, I mean... This is what I mean when I say if you have a weak mind and a strong back, you just got to understand your lane. You just got to stay in your lane. And I saved the best for last because this one made me laugh out loud, actually. When I initially read it, this one was like cream of the crop. I, t top tier, you know, like top tier. Jay Hallett says, I was driving with a coworker and saw a sign that said free range eggs. And I said, hey, look, free eggs. Let's go get some. <laughs> I didn't live that down for a while. I mean, again, it's just context and the delivery. You know, you thought, hey, oh, fucking free eggs. I like eggs. Eggs go in a lot of the products and baking and meals that I enjoy. I like it when I don't have to pay for the things that I enjoy. So there it is right there, right on the plate, pun intended right in front of you and only for the world to come crashing down upon you because your coworker looks uh, just, it, it, you know the look. You know the look when you said something stupid. It's almost like they tilt their head a little bit and start shaking their head like you can't be that stupid. To their surprise, you come out of left field and just, mm, yes I am. I am that dumb. For the love of the Lord above me, I am not blessed with brain cells, so forgive me for being a moron. <laughs> so there you have it, folks. Some of the best comments that we've seen on the post, the ones that made me laugh out loud. Please, if you can, comment below some of the dumbest things you've said or you've heard said on site. We'd love to read those suckers. And like always, keep fucking with the danger cats. Have s no, I'm not saying anything dumb because then you're gonna put it in there. <laughs>